Well today, I'm going to show you how I built these scatter barracks for all sorts of sci-fi tabletop games. The build. I started this build because I found cookie packaging that remind me of a container. So maybe somebody wanted to colonize a new planet and then these containers are some drop pod habitat containers or something. Uh, so I added doors from thin cardboard and thick paper, though I would suggest to make them completely out of thin cardboard because the paper didn't really look as three-dimensional as I hoped it would. The cookie packaging was really flimsy, so I glued in some cardboard for better structure. I didn't want all the containers to look the same. So I added other leftover candy packaging and corrugated cardboard to them. So then like after years, the colonists had to repair their barracks or just added some new components uh, or functions to them. And I also put them on a foam board base. So last time I learned that PVA glue is warping like crap. So this time I went with filler. Um, I bought filler powder, so I had to mix it up myself, which means that I could decide which consistency I wanted. I spread the filler over the entire base. I also put some thick blobs here and there, as you can see. And when you buy filler, you should look for something that says fills deep cracks or something like that, so you know it doesn't shrink when it dries, because uh, shrinking would cause warping, and if you wanted warping, you could just use PVA glue. Then I sprinkled sand and decoration granules of different grids directly onto the filler and let it dry. I then coated all the cardboard cards and all the filler parts and all the foam board parts with thinned down PVA glue. I thinned it down somewhere around 1 to 1 or 1 to 2 parts of PVA glue and water. Painting. I brushed on a layer of brown craft paint onto the base. Then I started to paint the container yellow and the junk parts in two kinds of blue. To get some opaque coverage, I sponged on the second layer of color, especially the yellow wasn't really opaque. I wasn't happy with the dark blue, so I mixed up a new color and painted it all over again. I went over the whole build and added a third layer of base colors. A big mistake I made was not to base coat all the yellow areas with white or something. Or maybe I should have airbrushed the color on, but you should definitely use a base coat of some kind before brushing on light colors onto a dark ground. At that point, the barracks still looked a bit boring, so I made some stencils using a pencil, ruler, paper and some tape. Then with some white paint I stippled the numbers on and that's another mistake. I should have just used black paint because it would have given a better contrast. Now you can't really see the white numbers. Like you can see them but not really good. I started the weathering process with sponging on some black paint, brown paint and orange paint but I tried to keep it dark. And then I used a brush uh, to get the paint in the crevices because with a sponge it, it wouldn't end up there. Then I started dry brushing the ground with some ochre for the dirt and some greys for the tiny stones and rock areas. Then I sponged on some gun metal onto the corroded parts, as if on some parts the paint fell off and on others the paint just rusted away. I then added some wash to mute the colors and to get some darker shadows. To 
to re-establish some contrast, I again dry brushed some gunmetal on the parts that needed it and I painted the weld lines with it. I also sponged on some of the original colors to get some color variations. The dirt also got a new dry brush, again with a light brown, but for the stone areas I used some light grey and white to really get out the contrast. Uh, I added some rust streaks with diluted orange paint. If you dilute it enough you just let it flow over what you're painting and you get some real streaks. Uh, also remember the paint gets muted when it's dry. I had some static grass laying around for some years now and I never used it, so I thought this is the perfect time to try it. I put down some PVA glue and sprinkled on some of the grass. To get it to stand up I used a balloon that I just dropped on my shirt, but that didn't work out as planned. So you could probably just use a sieve or a static grass applicator if you got one. To finish the piece off I glued two imperial propaganda posters on one of the three barracks. Just search for Imperial Propaganda posters on Google Images and you will find plenty options. And that's it. Now for some beauty shots of the finished scatter barracks on the battlefield. I'm quite happy with how they turned out and I'm sure yours could be even better if you learn from my mistakes. Due to the lack of motivation this project took me several months, but you could definitely finish it in under 4 days I guess. That's it, stay safe and goodbye.